Thank you for watching this movies. We will explain about exhaust design for compressor referring to technical data from Atlas Copco for this explanation. We would like to explain why required ventilation in compressor room. Reason 1. The compressor is making compressor's air. Ventilation is necessary to remove the heat generated by compressing the air in by the motor. Reason 2. Electronic control equipment is used for the compressor. Ambient air must be kept below the permissible temperature. If referred to specification of compressor dryer, maximum ambient temperature is 45 degree. Reason 3. Operating efficiency become good when the suction temperature of the compressor can be cool. There is the benefit if keeping the ambient air temperature low. These are typical three type of exhaust planning for compressor. 1. Entire ventilation. 2. Local exhaust option 1 using fan for room 3 local exhaust option 2 using fan for inside duct we will explain about design point and calculations for each method first about entire ventilation one provide general ventilation if water cooling or local ventilation is not possible two the recommended distance between the top plate of the compressor and the ceiling is 1200 millimeters or more as the ambient temperature increases when the ceiling is low. 3. Install an exhaust fan on a high part of the wall on the compressor exhaust side and provide an air supply port at a low position on the air supply side so that the exhaust air does not flow into the supply air. We can calculate required ventilation volume from this formula, where QV is required ventilation volume, N is normal motor power, D is electrical power for dryer, Delta T is compressor room design temperature over the outdoor temperature. We put example calculation result here. When N is 37 kilowatts, D is 1.1 kilowatts, Delta T is 10 degree and for 1 unit. Then QV to be 243 cubic meter per mammuts. Of course, we shall consider safety factor and select a fan. Second, about local exhaust. Option 1 is using fan for room 1. Use a duct with a larger cross-sectional area than the exhaust port. The pressure loss in the exhaust duct must be 10 pascals or less. 2. For pressure losses higher than this, an exhaust fan must be installed in the duct. 3. Each must have its individual exhaust duct. 4. Use a removable canvas duct for the exhaust duct. 5. Do not connect a duct to the dryer exhaust port. We should decide two of exhaust volume. 1. Inside duct. We should confirm to manufacturers. 2. Room exhaust volume. We can consider remaining exhaust volume to remove generating heat from dryer. Therefore, we can calculate Q2 as room exhaust volume based on this volumra. Please refer example. Third, about local exhaust. Option 2 is using fan for inside duct. 1. Maintain a minimum distance of 300 mm. 2. Be sure to operate the ventilation fan while the compressor is running, and stop the ventilation fan when the compressor is stopped. Better to provide interlock. 3. Use a duct hood with a larger cross-sectional area than the exhaust port. 4. The dryer exhaust port should be considered as general ventilation without installing an exhaust duct. 5. Each must have its individual exhaust duct. We can calculate same as entire ventilation. Please refer detail in entire ventilation section. Thank you for watching until the end. In this channel, we will provide useful information for MA design practice. See you again in next movie.